Hi, in this video we are going to study the reverse biasing of PN junction. In the previous video we have studied that how PN junction is formed, how depletion layer is formed, how PN junction work when they are forward biased. Now we are going to study that what happens when PN junction is reverse biased. Now the name indicates reverse bias. Biasing means applying potential difference. That means we are going to connect battery with the PN junction. Now reverse. What does reverse means here? That means P type is going to connect it with the negative terminal of the battery and N type side is going to be connected with positive terminal of the battery. Here we know that this is the representation of the P type semiconductor and this is the representation of N type semiconductor. This hole is the PN junction, this is the depletion layer, this is the fictitious battery which is formed because of the uncompensated charges. That is why this depletion layer is also called as space charge region. Now we are reverse biasing it. That means we are connecting the battery in this direction. That means the negative terminal is connected to the P type and positive terminal is connected in the N type. Now one question arises. That in case of metals or conductors, we say that this is a conductor and if I apply potential difference across it, suppose this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal, then current will flow in this direction if this is a metal. Now if this is same metal and I apply potential difference across it like this, that means suppose this was negative positive, now this is positive negative. Again the current will flow in this conductor but the direction will be opposite. So what we get from here, that in conductors, it, it does not matter in which direction the terminals are connected to the conductor. But this thing matters in PN junction. Why it matters, let us see. In forward biasing we have seen that the current flows and the diagram of VI characteristic of the forward biasing was like this. Now we are going to study the reverse biasing that whether the current flows when the battery is connected in this direction. Let us see. As we know that current will flow if the charges will move. Here we have holes and electrons so they should move only then the current is formed. Now this is negative terminal of the battery. This is P type. In P type holes are majority carriers. So we get to know that this negative terminal will attract the holes because holes have positive charge on them. That means this hole will start moving in this direction. Similarly this is the positive terminal of the battery. It is connected to the N type semiconductor. Here electrons are the majority carriers. Since electrons are negatively charged, so they will be attracted in this direction. So they will move in this direction. So what happens? For the flow of the current, we know that the holes and electrons should move across the junction. Then only the current is produced. But here they both are moving in opposite direction. So what does it mean? If we see that the electrons are moving in that direction, that means the concentration of electrons is going to be less here. Similarly, the concentration of holes is going to be less here. So what it means that the depletion layer is widening. So in reverse biasing, what happens? The current is not flowing, but holes and electrons are moving away from the junction. So if this voltage is increased, then what will happen? All the electrons and all the holes will try to move out. That means this junction is going to break. So in reverse biasing, we should get no current. But in actual, what happens? The majority carriers will move in this way only. That holes will move away from the junction and electrons in n type will move away from the junction. But this is negative terminal of the battery and we know that electrons are present as minority in P type. So these electrons will be repelled by this negative terminal. So these electrons, that means minority carriers, will move into the junction. Similarly, this positive terminal of the battery will repel the minority holes in the N type and these holes will try to cross the junction. So we will get current in reverse 
bias because of the minority carriers and we know that the concentration of minority carriers is very low that is why they are minority so the current in reverse biasing will be very small so this is how reverse biasing differs from forward biasing so that means p and junction are completely different from metals or conductors because in conductors and metals there is no botheration in which direction the battery is connected but there is great difference in the connections of the battery for p and junction if i see the diagram or i say the vi characteristic for the reverse biasing what i get is when this external voltage is small we can also see here that this voltage supports the barrier voltage now if this voltage is applied that means this barrier is being supported so that means it will not allow the majority carriers to flow across the junction so this is also one of the reason that why we don't get current in reverse biasing now if this voltage applied is small we will get very minute current because of the minority carriers only and these majority carriers will be moved away from the junction as we increase this applied voltage what will happen the majority carriers will be attracted away from the junction and the minority carriers will move with larger speed now as the minority carriers will move with larger speed towards the junction what can they do they have a lot of energy that means they can break the other bonds by striking them so what happens the minority carriers strike with the bonds and break them so there is increase in the minority carrier so more current starts moving so at a particular voltage this thing happens that the minority carriers get so much of energy that they strike with the bonds in the junction and they break the bonds so the minority carrier increases and so the current increases abruptly this type of process that means this type of current which is formed by a little bit increase in the voltage there is an abrupt increase in the current this voltage is called breakdown voltage and the process in which the minority carriers get accelerated and they strike with the bonds and make the minority carriers and make the current high is called avalanche process this avalanche breakdown is expressed by the speed of the minority carriers the other process which explains this type of characteristic that if we increase the voltage after a particular voltage called breakdown voltage a little increase in the voltage gives a high current what is it that as this voltage is greater than the zener voltage the minority carriers are so much accelerated and they have so much of energy that the covalent bonds break in the semiconductor because this voltage is high so covalent breaks automatically in the pn junction and minority carriers are produced and so they move so we get to know that in avalanche process there is acceleration but the other process in which no acceleration of the minority carrier is there there is only breakage of covalent bonds because of this applied voltage that process is zener breakdown so we have two processes which can explain this breakdown one is the avalanche process in which the minority carriers are accelerated they strike with the covalent bonds in the junction and make these bonds to break and minority carriers are increased so the current is increased the other process is this that as the external voltage is so high that the junction cannot tolerate that voltage and the covalent bonds of the junction break and so the minority carriers increases so there is flow of the minority carriers and so this high current is obtained and this voltage is the breakdown voltage now why the name is breakdown taken here breakdown means that this junction breaks because it can't tolerate that much amount of voltage applied so this junction is broken so practically we don't take our junctions at these voltages because they can't be regained after removing this potential so this is how reverse biasing of pn junction works so we get to know 
a difference between the conductors and semiconductors is that in conductors there is no perturbation about the direction that how battery is connected but in pn junction it varies very hardly and proper current variation is there only in forward biasing so we get to know a property of pn junction that pn junction is unidirectional what is unidirectional uni means one directional that means pn junction conducts electricity or conducts current only in one direction that is when it is forward biased it can't conduct current in the other direction that means here we can see that the current will be in this direction but it is reverse biased so this current will be negligible so we get to know that in reverse biased there is no current and in forward biased if we have this positive and negative the current will be very high and it will remain always in this direction so the pn junction is unidirectional